Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial by Lentomania Store. My name is Anna Sochno and today I'll tell you how to crochet a very easy rug. A rectangular rug is crocheted with a pattern which provides minimal expense. You will definitely succeed with this rug even if you are a beginner. I used several skins of T-shirt yarn biscuit, cacao colored and plumber colored. I used a crochet hook size 9 in order to a rug not to be very hard. In the case of a rug we don't need to keep its shape, so it's better to choose a bigger hook. The rug will be soft and the expense of yarn will be small. For beginning we need to cast on chain stitches. So we wrap the yarn around the hook, make a stitch and start to crochet chain stitches. Tension is medium, not too loose, but not too tight, tighten the chain stitches. While I'm crocheting these stitches, subscribe to my channel. There are a lot of detailed tutorials how to crochet fashionable bags and backpacks. Also, I regularly share different crocheting life hacks. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to my new videos. After we cast it on 42 loops, we need to turn the chain stitches back side to ourselves, so it looks like a braid from the front side. When we turn it upside down, we see three stitches in each braid, which are in parallel. Now we put the hook into these central stitches in the middle of each braid. Into these stitches. We skip two stitches from the hook, one, two, and into the third stitch from it we insert the hook, but previously we need to yarn over the hook. We will double crochets. This pattern perfectly suits for crocheting rugs. Yarn over and insert the hook in the third stitch. So you need to skip two chain stitches before you insert the hook. Then we pull through the working thread and we got three stitches on the hook. We pick up the working thread and crochet together the first two stitches on the hook, except the last one. Now there are two stitches on the hook and we pick up the working thread and one more time and crochet together the last two stitches. Thus we double crochet. Continue. Yarn over, insert the hook in the middle of the next stitch. Pull through the working thread. Crochet the first and the last two stitches. Crochet this way in the opposite direction. We crochet every stitch from the chain stitches. The last stitch from the chain stitches we will crochet in a special way. Also remember to yarn over the hook and turn the last stitch on the front side. Stick the hook under the upper jumper of the last loop, then double crochet the same way. Pull up the tail of the stitch if it is too loose. All the following rows we crochet in the same way. In the end of the row we crochet two chain stitches to raise our crocheting to the high of the second row. Then we turn the crocheting on the back side and begin with the second stitch. That is we miss the first stitch from which we crochet the chain stitches because this is like a whole element, like a full single crochet. And starting from the second stitch we stick the hook under the both sides of the stitch, under the braid, the braid looks like this, and stick the hook inside the braid and continue double crocheting but in the opposite direction. Pay attention not to miss the stitches and to knit in each braid and double crochet. And don't forget the last single crochet. Now I'll show how to find it. I reached the end of the crocheting of the second row, 
This is what the last stitches look like. I have to crochet two more stitches. I yarn over, crochet the standard last braid, which I see, a single crochet, and there might be a mistake. It may seem to you that you finished to crochet the row, but in fact, we haven't crocheted the chain stitches that we did for rising when crocheting a chain of chain stitches. So we need to yarn over the hook and crochet the last stitch into the last loop. How to understand if you do not quite understand whether you crocheted the last stitch correctly? Count the number of single crochets. If you did everything as I did, you might have 40 double crochets. If everything fits, if you have 40 double crochets too, then you did everything right. Just crochet two more chain stitches for rising to the high of the third row. Turn the crocheting on the back side and continue double crocheting in the opposite direction. Continue crocheting like this for the length of the rug that you need. If you want to add the stripe the same as me, I'll show how to do it. It's easy too. If you need to add one more color, you don't need to crochet two last stitches together with the old color. You need to add a new color. In my case, this plumber color is suitable for the color of dots. I take a new color of yarn, crochet a new walking thread and two stitches together with this new color. Pull up the stitch with the previous color, pull up the new stitch too and make a tail. Then I'm crocheting the second stitches with the new color, pull everything up one more time and now you may cut the previous walking thread and hide it in the purl stitches on the back side of the rock. The same should be done with the tail of the new color. Everything else is the same. You turn your crocheting over the back side, yarn over and crochet with the thread of a new color. Accordingly, when you need to switch to the previous color, you do the same. Cut the thread of a new color and begin to add the thread of different color. Here's the rock I got. Its size is 95 cm by 54 cm approximately. I used 4 skins of t-shirt yarn biscuit, 3 skins color cacao and 1 skin plum bear. A good mood everyone. More t-shirt yarn and time for crocheting. Bye!